Good morning, Arizona. We begin this Monday morning with some breaking news now at 6 o'clock. An overnight barricade situation at a Phoenix motel thankfully is over. The investigation, though, now just beginning. Police have taken a woman into custody. All of this happening at the Paradise Motel near 24th Street and Van Buren. Elena has been out there all morning long, and she's joining us now at the very latest. Elena, a tense situation there this morning. Yeah, for about an hour now, the command van has been on scene and a few more detectives also showed up. So what we've been seeing in the parking lot, guys, is that uh, the detectives have been going back and forth from the motel room that has crime scene tape over it. And they have been kind of flagging flashlights around and just searching the perimeter. Uh, but I want you guys to go ahead and see this video that we shot earlier this morning when we first arrived on scene. It was also a tense situation then around 3 a.m. Uh, several police cruisers were blocking the street here on Van Buren, and there was a three-man team with guns and shields trying to get the woman out of that motel room. They were trying to gain entry quite a few times and then eventually led to shooting a couple pepper balls at the room. Uh, we do know in this situation that this started as a shots fired call and it was reported that a man was shot and injured when they arrived on scene. He was not at the motel. He was actually a half mile over on Taylor Street, and that is where police say he was transported to the hospital. But it took about 40 minutes during the situation uh, to try to get the woman out of the motel room, and finally police gave her one last warning. We still don't know the relation of the woman and the man uh, right now, but as you can see here on the scene, detectives are very present. They are actually inside the room actively investigating. Uh, we tried flagging down an officer who has been kind of uh, monitoring this area throughout the morning, seeing if we can talk to the supervisor on scene. Uh, the sergeant did say that he is not able to speak on anything, but they did tell us that a PIO, a public information officer, should release some info uh, later this morning. So we'll keep our eyes out for that. But for now, back to you.